So, ladies and gentlemen, I had taken the poll on which yoga to discuss, and as per the results, it is Pancha Mahapurush Yoga. So, finally, we start with the Pancha Mahapurush Yogas. And before you try to ask questions, well, let me tell you that many people will have these yogas, but for many, it fructifies apparently and for many apparently does not fructify all right so i will tell you what these yogas are when these yogas are formed and when these will actually fructify and also when these will not all right because there are many 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 people who have these yogas now the problem is people think that oh these yogas are exaggerations these yogas are extrapolations yes just to attract people towards astrology, Parashar Muni has written big, big things. All right. It's absolutely not like that. In fact, these yogas work. And when I show you examples, then you will know how these yogas work. Okay. So in my next week, I have a video on example charts of Hansa Mahapurush Yoga, which is one of the five Mahapurush Yogas formed by jupiter okay but today's video is general about what these yogas are and when these are formed all right so as usual if you are new then please subscribe to the channel and watch this playlist of astrology basics many of your questions are answered in this playlist and if you want a consultation from me regarding your mahapurush yoga or any other raj yoga or any other area in your life then you could always go down to the description section of my videos down below where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him now you must find him because we are talking of mahapurush yogas all right so the word pancha means five and mahapurush means great personality all right it's not only referring to purush as in males it is also referring to females anybody any human being in fact all right so what these yogas are so let's get the technical stuff out first okay so these yogas are not formed by sun moon rahu ketu wow i should have said these yogas are formed by some planets right but if i tell you that then you'll be confused so the easy way to remember this is sun moon rahu ketu see sun moon we all know they are kind of together rahu ketu is together all right so these four do not form these yogas all right so except sun moon rahu ketu all the planets how many are remaining nine minus four equal to five basic mathematics and there you go so that means except these four all the other planets they participate in this yoga okay so i would request you to watch this video till the end because there are many exceptions which i will tell all right and yes also one important information is that sometimes we can have two three four mahapurush yogas okay four is like a bit doubtful but at least some i i have seen charts where there are three mahapurush yogas but you will be surprised to know that at one in one chart there can only one mahapurush yoga which is function only one mahapurush yoga can function in a chart not more than that okay and honestly speaking it is not very good to have too many mahapurush yogas in the chart all right because that shows very high collision you know of course if you have that power to handle those powerful yogas then it's great so now when these yogas are formed so the planets mercury venus mars saturn and jupiter yes these planets if they are placed in the kendra houses kendra means the first fourth seventh tenth rule number one that means they must be placed in kendra all right if they are placed anywhere else this yoga doesn't form so they must be placed in kendra rule number one rule number two is they must be either in own sign or multricon or exaltation either of these three if it is satisfied the condition is fulfilled so this means suppose somebody has a cancer ascendant with jupiter in the ascendant so now rule number one is jupiter is in the kendra because the first first house is a kendra and a trikon simultaneously so rule number one is satisfied then rule number two is it should be exalted or own sign or mul trikon okay and jupiter gets exalted in cancer number four sign not house 
so therefore this yoga is formed so so for example suppose saturn is in the seventh house in libra then this yoga is formed venus is in the fourth house in taurus or mercury is in the 10th house in virgo then this yoga is formed okay because these are either own signs or multricorn or exaltation signs of the planets so now the question is what actually this yoga means okay well i always say that the house is the external all right and the sign is the internal now why are these known as mahapurush yogas what is so great what is so special about these yogas okay so the answer is the kendra represents the active force within our life our actions is seen by the kendra houses okay not the 10th house only 10th house is the most powerful kendra house it's the most rather than calling it most powerful i would say it's the most demanding kendra house okay it pulls you the planet in the 10th house pulls you literally and similarly the fourth seventh and tenth are also the kendra houses so i have a lot of videos on kendras and you know planets in kendra so you can type kendras in my channel in or in the playlist and you will find it so if you are not very aware of what kendra is you can go and see the videos okay so they represent the pillar of our life first house is we fourth house is our home our sense of comfort seventh house is anybody who opposes us our marriage partner anybody in fact and the 10th house is the house of our primary karma which in today's world translates as career name fame reputation money prosperity status etc so now what does it mean when you have a planet among these five in the kendra so now if these planets are in the kendras then it means that these planets are a very active part of our day, day to day life okay now suppose these are in own sign or multricorn or exaltation then it means that their awareness is very high okay awareness means the ability to deal with the issues or the challenges that come with the planet okay good and bad both ways so for example venus is exalted in somebody's chart then the person can be very aware of relationships now it does not mean that the person will know how to handle relationships necessarily it does not mean that it will not mean that when venus is afflicted by being exalted all right point to be noted but if it is well placed without any afflictions then the awareness also gives you knowledge okay so that means that if you have a planet in kendra any of these five in great dignity so it means in our daily life as an individual we can function very well regarding those traits okay and there are many technicalities of pancha mahabhut related to the panch mahapurush yogas they say the five traits of lord shiva they manifest in each of these okay so those are a lot of complex details which we can talk about but let's talk on an astrological forefront okay so now the question is many people will have these yogas because for example suppose saturn has to form this yoga then saturn has to be in capricorn or aquarius or libra so saturn will stay in one sign for two and a half three years okay and the ascendant stays the same for two hours roughly one and a half to two hours so many people in this world will have shasha mahapurush yoga which is the mahapurush yoga caused by saturn okay so that means all the people who are having these mahapurush yogas they, they they are literally like mahapurush all right that's what it feels like right no it's not like that see there are many conditions for this yoga to be fulfilled okay i have read many classics i have talked with many senior astrologers and i have also seen from my experience so i will try my best to share with you from all the angles of when these yogas work when these yogas do not work okay because there is a lot of uh, hype about these yogas at times okay this yoga makes you a king or a billionaire or a trillionaire no it's not like that so the question is when does this yoga work fully okay the yoga will work for everybody to but the difference is to what extent does it work for somebody it may just work for somebody it may work more somebody it may work so much too much enough <laughs> to make him a king or it can make him anybody you see 
so the thing is whenever we assess some yoga in a chart all right whenever we are trying to see how powerful a yoga is always remember that that particular yoga is one of the yogas in the entire chart okay so this means the first rule is that you have to judge the strength of sun moon and the lord of the ascendant this is very 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 important when we are talking about mahapurush yogas okay because suppose there is a mahapurush yoga but suppose sun moon and the ascendant lord they are not well placed then it can mean that the person has the uh, awareness but is not interested to work in that area or it can also mean the person is lazy not to work towards that goal or it can mean that the person tries to run away from that all right so this is the main reason why mahapurush yogas do not give full results so this does not mean that the yoga alone is not working the yoga alone works for everybody okay so anybody who is telling that the mahapurush yoga is not working they are not knowing the basic principles of astrology that you have to analyze the whole chart okay now the second thing is the second most important uh, factor is that you have to also check which planets are conjunct or which planets are aspecting uh this particular planet which is forming a mahapurush yoga okay that is very 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 important so for example suppose uh jupiter is forming a hansa mahapurush yoga okay and suppose saturn is afflicting this jupiter or mars is aspecting this jupiter then what could happen is to maintain that dharma because jupiter hansa mahapurush yoga shows that you you have an awareness to maintain the highest level of dharma you will face tremendous challenges and the most graphic example of this combination is the chart of lord shri ramchandra he has an exalted jupiter in the ascendant he has so many mahapurush yogas my god three mahapurush yogas he has he has saturn jupiter mars all three in own, uh, in uh, exaltation okay in the kendra is a cancer ascendant anyways keeping aside the debates among his uh, different horoscopes but these three positions are very clear okay jupiter is exalted in the ascendant so fourth house has the sign libra where saturn is exalted and seventh house has the sign capricorn where mars is exalted in his chart so now saturn from the fourth throws the 10th aspect to the lagna where his jupiter is afflicted and mars also directly aspects jupiter okay now mars and jupiter are friends at the same time mars is a natural malefic all right so even though mars and jupiter are friends just like saturn and venus if mars and saturn are afflicting anybody by conjunction or aspect the results will vary okay so now for example in case of lord ram what happened jupiter is highly exalted it's in the peak of exaltation there in cancer along with moon you see lord of the ascendant is also there so in his case the ascendant lord is very well placed it is in own sign it is in the lagna all right moon is in lagna for lord ram along with jupiter which is the ninth lord in his uh, chart okay so that is a phenomenal placement and there is a debate on the position of sun so some say that his sun is in the ninth house in pisces some say it is in the 10th house irrespective of that both are very strong placements because if sun is in the ninth house it is in the sign of pisces which is a friend sign or even if it if sun is in the 10th house it is exalted in aries that that is another phenomenal placement okay so ignoring the controversies around his chart imagine sun is either on ninth or in 10th and moon as moon is in the lagna and moon as the ascendant lord is also in own sign in lagna so the first condition that i said you know sun moon and the ascendant lord should be well placed so that is getting fulfilled in his situation okay and in his chart when i make the video on hans mahapurush yoga i will tell you that to check about hans mahapurush yoga you also have to check the situation of the ninth lord because we are talking of dharma here jupiter is the primary karak of dharma right so that is very strong but now in his case both this jupiter is afflicted very heavily afflicted so what happened 
for him to follow dharma he had to you know struggle quite a bit it's a lot of struggle in his life you know his whole life is filled with struggles there's nothing there's hardly any happiness in his life you see it's full of struggles and that is why he's known as maryada purushottam that setting the example for everybody that even when you are having struggles in life you do not bulge from what dharma is okay so for example when kk told him his stepmother that get out of ayodhya for the next 14 years don't enter here bharat will sit in the throne then lord ram could have said oh this is injustice you know i won't follow what you say go to hell do what you want i don't listen to my father no he didn't say like that he said yes if that is your will i will fulfill it yes so that is an example the awareness is there because the yoga is very strong and sun moon and the lord of the ascendant are very well placed very powerful and then this yoga is fructifying and as i said for hansa mahapurush yoga you also have to check the situation of the ninth lord so for cancer lagna jupiter itself is the ninth lord okay so ninth lord and lagna lord are conjunct in the lagna so this makes this hansa mahapurush yoga 10 times more powerful then he also has dharma karma dipati yoga which is the mutual aspect of the ninth and the 10th lord or conjunction or parivartan or uh in in any way if they are linked okay because his mars is the 10th lord and jupiter is the ninth lord and both are mutually aspecting each other from the lagna and the seventh house okay so presence of dharma karma dipati yoga will also make this hansa mahapurush yoga 10 times more powerful so imagine 10 times and 10 times you know 100 times and above that jupiter is also in dikbala so it's like 1000 times <laughs> all right 10 times because sun moon and ascendant are strong then 100 times because the ninth lord is strong and 1000 times because it is in dikbala all right but at the same time the afflictions will also have their effects okay so just because jupiter is greatly placed it is you know exalted it is in dikbala in the lagna great with the ascendant lord it does not mean that the afflictions will not uh, hold hold true for him okay it will always hold true for him and therefore the lesson is if a planet is very powerful and if then if it is afflicted then the challenge is even more okay because then you are expected to maintain very high level of standards even when these afflictions are there so that's you know more difficult so imagine a normal person living like lord ram's life my god maybe he will commit suicide he cannot bear it okay it's not possible no no human being can bear the suffering which he bared everybody in fact lakshman sita devi urmila everybody the entire family of lord ram okay no no sane human being can bear all those uh, even even an iota of what he and his family went through okay so his chart is a perfect example of mahapurush yoga's working and also we can discuss on saturn and mars but time is less here so i will stick to jupiter only so i will also make a video specifically on hans mahapurush yoga next week so you can see that video there you will understand more okay and you also have to see uh, which which other planets are conjunct okay as i said for malefics so if malefics are conjunct then things could be difficult the other uh, con- another is another condition for these yogas to work very well is that there should not be uh, you know too many conflicting planets in the kendra okay so which means suppose somebody has an exalted venus in pisces and somebody also has jupiter exalted uh, so sorry jupiter is in own sign in pisces okay so then what well then that's a tricky situation because the dev guru and daitya guru both are in great dignity but because venus is exalted it is more stronger than jupiter and venus will hold the say okay so that is th- this is another reason why that malavya mahapurush yoga which is formed by venus that may not sometimes work okay because jupiter is there and it, it can sometimes create a disharmony between venus okay between itself and venus i mean okay so i will discuss on all these five yoga specific yogas okay uh based on jupiter which is known as hansa and saturn is shasha mahapurush yoga mars is ruchak mahapurush yoga 
and bhadra mahapurush yoga is for mercury and malavya mahapurush yoga is for venus okay so i will end this video here and so there you go so the next time you see the yogas please check where the lord of the ascendant is and sun and moon and then only you give a judgment okay don't just blindly tell uh, your friend or your family member oh my god this is a mahapurush yoga is there you'll become a king you will sit in the throne you'll become a billionaire all, all these fancy dreams do not don't give false hopes to people okay and always remember this yoga is a part of the entire horoscope no yoga can override an entire horoscope it is not possible okay so all the yogas have to be judged in the context of the horoscope because one yoga which is good for one area of life may end up being an epic disaster for another area of life okay so there you go that is it from my side and i will make specific videos with examples for all these yogas okay so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe click the thumbs up and share it with those who are wanting to know about mahapurush yogas in detail okay and if you want a consultation from me you could always go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website for booking a reading with me personally okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you must find him now all right thank you very much see you soon